ट्रेशन so hormone adrenaline when released into blood when you are anxious and what does it affect on the blood glucose it converts glycogen to glucose so the blood glucose increases insulin is produced after meal but then decreases the blood glucose insulin is not produced when fasting insulin is produced only when you eaten something which is made up of a carbohydrate and then increases the blood glucose levels Then question twenty three. A man suffers a head injury and his cerebellum is damaged. It's going to be posture, coordination, and balance. PCB. I always tell you to remember it. Pakistan Cricket Board. Very simple. Posture, coordination, and movements. Then question twenty four. The diagram shows four bones associated with the four limb. Now, this is the ulna U of the ulna. Remember that this is the U of the ulna, which fits into here. Then this, of course, is the scapula. You know that shoulder blade, and this round thingy shows you this is the radius. It's like a ring, R ring, R radius. It forms this sort of a flat shape on the top. So, which bones form a hinge joint? One, two, and four. This is the humerus, and then the ulna. And let's give the radius a yellow color, so the radius fits in here, and fits in here. So, the ulna is this one, which is going to fit in here. This is the ulna. So one, two, and four. Doesn't this doesn't the scapula doesn't make it makes the shoulder joint. Twenty-five. An experiment is set up as shown in the diagram to compare how well different antibiotics work against a species of bacteria. Bacteria are growing on this. We've got bacteria growing on this all over. So the bacteria are growing all over. Then you have the filter paper disc soaked in antibiotic solution. In this experiment, which conditions must be kept constant? Naturally, the concentration of the antibiotic solution, then the size of the filter paper disc, and the type of the antibiotic. To compare how well different antibiotics works against a species of bacteria. So different antibiotics will have different concentrations, but we must keep the concentration the same. Size of the filter paper disc must be the same as well, and the type of antibiotic will be, of course, we will study it on one petri dish. Maybe we study only one antibiotic, then another one on another antibiotic, and so on and so forth. Twenty-six. The diagram shows processes in the production of cheese. in which process is there a significant reduction in ph you see liquid milk then pasteurized milk and then you have this curdled milk so how does it curdle because the lactose converted into an acid and acid is then converting the protein casein into caseinogen which is in a semi solid state and that is what is going to and then of course you remove the solid curd and you remove the watery part which is the liquid way then you convert it into cheese So basically, the acid part is when the pasteurized milk and the uh, bacteria and the enzymes are added, and that results in the curdled milk. So that is the point where you have to understand is where the uh, reduction in pH is going to occur, where the acid is going to be produced by the bacteria. Question 27 is mentioned in the exam report. It says less than a third of the candidates. So that means only one less than even one third recognize the diagram of a yeast cell. So the diagram shows a cell and some of its features. Now, number one, it had a vacuole. Number two, it had granules of glycogen. You see, glycogen is only present in humans, in bacteria, and in yeast. 
nowhere else in the body and it wouldn't have been a animal a human cell or an animal cell because it doesn't have it is a cell wall cell walls only present in bacteria and fungus so from where has this cell been taken a fermenting alcoholic drink this is of course a bacteria bacteria doesn't have a vacuole so that was the mistake in that liver of an animal doesn't have a cell wall mesophyll of a leaf has a cell wall but doesn't have glycogen it has starch then we come on to the next question 28 why does an ecosystem need to be exposed regularly to sunlight energy is converted to biomass no energy is lost to decomposer no energy is reflected back to no energy is lost as heat so the sun is going to heat it up so energy is lost as heat this is actually a question on uh, the recycling of energy then coming on to question number 29 The diagram shows part of the nitrogen cycle. You see, you see, there's lightning and rain. There's nitrogen gas in the atmosphere. So this is nitrogen-containing compounds in the soil, nitrogen-containing in plants, nitrogen-containing. Which process occurs at X? Nitrogen gas in the air flow to nitrogen in plants. So that they have said is nitrogen fixation. It couldn't be anything else. Decomposition results in formation of uh, ammonia. Denitrification is the opposite. In fact, it turns the nitrogen gas. If we had to be denitrification, it would have been this sort of. It wouldn't have been this either because it will be. This would be denitrification. So then we had to understand it couldn't have been nitrification because nitrification, in fact, results in nitrates being formed. Ammonium compounds to nitrates and then nitrites to nitrates. Question 30. Insects feed on a tree's leaves. Insects are eaten by small birds that are the prey of larger birds. So we have on a tree's leaves. Which pyramid of number illustrates this food chain? So what do we have? A tree leaves. This would be the tree. A tree leaves. so a tree tree is one organism so one insect so this would be insects and then this would be small birds are eaten by small birds and then it would be preys of larger birds so the numbers will decrease So the larger birds, this is what you have to understand: is which one could be the pyramid of numbers. So the birds has to decrease in number. The pyramid of numbers is the important thing which you have to read. Question thirty-one was again mixed mentioned in the mark scheme. It says weaker candidates thought of mosquitoes as being malarial parasites. Well, that's sad if you didn't know that. Question thirty-one: Which row correctly matches a method of controlling malaria with the explanation of how this method works? So, covering windows with netting kills mosquitoes. No, it doesn't do that. It doesn't kill mosquitoes. So, the only answer was spraying oil on rivers will kill mosquito larvae. So, the mosquito larvae or the pupa would die because the oil would prevent them from coming to the surface and taking in air. So, this is what you have to understand. and insecticide would not kill the malarial parasite is the plasmodium which is inside our blood it's not going to kill that it's going to kill the female anopheles mosquito which is the vector of malaria and taking anti malarial tablets doesn't stop you the mosquitoes from biting it just kills the plasmodium inside your blood then coming to question 32 which plants are most likely to adapt successfully to a climate change in their environment plants that are cross pollinated because there is a lot of uh, variation in them and they may be better adapted there was a question of understanding that how cross pollination results in variation and then that is results in later organisms being better adapted to their environment change in environment question 33 as mentioned in the exam report is the diagram have requ ha here required candidates to recognize which parts of a fruit are composed of parent tissues and which are the offspring many candidates found this challenging now diagram shows a section through a plum fruit which structures has a genotype different to the other three now this of course very basic that you have to understand is that it's only when the pollen 
nucleus of the pollen grain reaches the female gamete and then it fuses it forms a zygote and then from that zygote develops the radical plumule and the cotyledons so the radical plumule and the cotyledons are genetically different just like the fetus is genetically different from the mother's genome the wall of the uterus is different genetically but the fetal material like the amnion and the placenta are all fetal genetic material they would be different so which structure has a genotype different to the other three it was the cotyledons was the answer the rest of all is of course the parent plant genetic material then coming on to question number 34 the diagram shows some stages in cell division in a fruit fly so we have mitosis here and then we have meiosis here and cell z sperm cell x cell y then cell z produced by so cell x contains eight chromosomes so how many chromosomes are there in cell y and in cell z so it would be eight in cell y yeah this would be so this is eight here eight here and then four here so there would be the number of chromosomes would be eight eight and then of course four four in all the cell z's would all be four so how many chromosomes are there in cell y and cell z so that is because this is divided by mitosis and two cells have been formed so if there are eight there would be eight so mitosis means genetically identical cells made so this was original eight which of course dna replication results in 16 chromosomes but then the two cells have been formed and they would have eight in each and then of course there would be four by meiosis which been produced by meiosis you see meiosis was here to here was meiosis and here to here was mitosis so you have to see this was all mitosis and then this was all meiosis so that's why it was 8 and 4 and that would be the answer to this question then coming to question number 35 what is the path taken by sperm cell during ejaculation from the male reproductive system so testes sperm duct urethra this is for very basic you have to revise this if you are not very clear on this then question 36 which method of birth control gives some protection from syphilis and hiv and the use of condoms which will give you some protection from syphilis and hiv then coming what is essential for natural selection to occur naturally competition and variation if there is variation then there is going to be change in the environment then the better adapted will survive and not better adapted will finally die and become extinct then question 38 Insulin is manufactured commercially using genetic engineering which type of organism is used to produce large quantities of insulin in this way and that is of course bacteria which we genetically engineer and change and they produce insulin for us and uh, that is one of the reasons we use them because they easily to uh, keep they don't require a lot of space and people do not have any issues of using bacteria Then question thirty nine, which statement about chromosomes is correct? A chromosome carries a long molecule of DNA. So basically, chromosome is made up of DNA, and then sections of DNA are called genes. So you have to be clear on this. If you have not understood, it's basically just checking how well your English skills are. Now always read the genetics question very carefully and do it very slowly. in fruit flies the allele of an ebony colored body is recessive to the allele so you know ebony is recessive so it has to be homozygous recessive so it has to be two small letters so two small a for the allele for a gray colored body now the gray colored ones can either be homozygous dominant or they can be heterozygous if it's a dominant trait it can be two possibilities If it is a dominant trait, it can be two possibilities: big A, big A, or big A, small A. In an investigation, an ebony body is crossed with a grey. So we cross an ebony with a grey. But then it says, what will be the body color of the offspring if the grey is heterozygous? So we know this now. This is the cross. The grey is heterozygous. that is they have said in the question the gray is heterozygous so gray was this 
So then you know, of course, the possibility is this. Half ebony and half gray. These will be ebony. And these will be gray. Ebony is a color, by the way. Please understand that's not something you have to understand the English of it as well. So you read the question carefully, you understand the question, and then you put it into words. Ebony is recessive. So ebony had to be this, small a, small a. Gray was the one which was the other way around. So this could have been this or could have been this. But then in the question it says, we crossed the ebony with the gray. But then it says the gray was heterozygous. So that means the gray was this, heterozygous. So when you cross homozygous recessive with the heterozygous, you have a ratio of 1 is to 1. So 2 gray to 2 ebony, so which means 1 ratio, 1 half ebony and half gray. So that was this was the answer. That finishes this question. And thank you very much. And I hope this helps. Best of luck for the exams. And thanks for watching.